Hello, this video is what I think about demon possession. I just thought I'd do it right now. So I do it. Um, sorry I'm yawning so much, I'm sick. I've got energy problems, I yawn all day long these days. Um, um, demon possession. Um, well, I know people get possessed by demons, I've heard the stories. Um, that movie, what's it called? That movie? What was it called? When the little girl goes, ah, and then her head spins around. Really famous. The Exorcist. That's actually uh, a story, a real story. Only the kid who got possessed was a boy, and they exorcised the demon. Though some Catholic priest came in there and did something. And I saw a girl get possessed by a demon playing Ouija board myself. <laughs> and I get possessed by demons, too. Uh, when I'm, like, not feeling good physically, and when I'm, like, you know, like, too drunk or whatever. So, basically, what goes on in my mind when I get possessed, personally, now, possessed by a demon. Well, let me explain what happens first. When I get possessed by a demon, I feel like, uh, you know, like something happened that's not un that's not fair. Maybe I'm being treated unfairly because I don't feel good. And then I think about all the times that... You know, maybe so I was treated unfairly or somebody said something mean to me if people don't like me or whatever. And then I get angry. And then I get, and then I like become aggressive. And then I take it out on uh, people around me. Um, I would get really angry like that. Like when I was married with my wife, I get like that a lot. Because <laughs> I was in a, living in an environment that had a lot of like, negative energy so basically I think um, I just go down to this low vibration and then I would uh, I, I, would, I would like I would run away with it and feel um, separate separate from everything like um, you know my ego would take over you know poor me type of thing and uh, I would just get emotional and go cra crazy, and then I would like stop caring, and I'd become cool, and uh, even kind of like um, enjoy making like my wife suffer, you know. Um, kind of like bloodthirsty, you know what I mean? Now, that's not me. It's kind of like I go schizophrenic, and I think so. Maybe like. Because I was down at this low vibration, I vibed with something else that came in me and then made that low vibration grow. And, and so that thing that came in me, maybe that thing is a demon and maybe it's an actual real life thing, like a live person. Maybe even a disembodied spirit who used to be human. So like maybe if I were to die, um, and, um, like a bad death and I wouldn't want to go to the light and I'd fall around and I'd, I'd kind of be stuck in this bad uh, energy that I was when I died. Um, and then I would like feel somebody around me who's having that same bad energy. I would get myself attracted to that because I would, you know, have somebody to empathize with me. And then we would feed off each other, kind of like, and then it would turn into a big fire, you know, like uh, the sum of... Uh, us two being greater, greater than the solar two parts to her. <laughs> so how do you fight demon possession? Um, well, I don't think you should fight fire with fire. Unless you totally, unless you totally fight it with some kind of like nuclear bomb, blast it out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just anybody around me was like suddenly freaked out and was very angry and yelling and well, well whenever this happens you know be, whoever it is my mom my ex-wife whatever I don't say anything I'm just like whoa because there's only a, a, enough room in one enough space in one room for one person to be freaking out at one time so uh, you just fight fire with ice fight fire with water but hatred with love, that's what you want to do. And if I was very angry and freaking out and somebody was like, oh, oh, I'm here for you. And I would suddenly snap that up and I'd be like, oh man, well, you're so sweet. 
you know, because then my vibration would go up and the demon would go. But a uh, demon possession, like somebody getting angry and stuff, I, I'm thinking, yeah, it's an actual entity that goes in you. Because I believe that everything is alive, there's a... Um, and, you know, we've always had that idea. People will say, oh, the bad spirits and you're the spirits. Um, yeah, I believe it's all integrated like that. So, uh... That's what I think about demon possession, but I don't think it's like that serious. You know, I don't think um, a demon could be in a person for very long. Like if I was in a room with somebody freaking out, like that girl from what's it, that movie, Exorcist, I wouldn't be scared or anything. I don't, you know, I think they went a little bit overboard with that. Just hold their hand and it'll go away. It's not that big of a deal. Demons aren't nearly as powerful as you think they are. But if you think they are, you think, if you think uh, that, you know, and I don't think people can uh, put curses on people either. Uh, they can only put a curse on you if you actually believe that you can put a curse on you, you know what I mean? Like gangsters in the, in the hood. Gangsters in the hood can kill each other, but if they try and kill somebody outside of the hood, then that's when the, uh, the cops will come down on them, you know? But the cops won't come down on them as long as they're killing each other in the hood, because the cops don't care. Just let them die. It's kind of like that. Um, you, uh, if you, uh, oh my god, I lost my train of thought. Um, how to kill, how to kill the demons. Oh yeah, you just hold the hand of the person and then the demons go away because they can't take the, uh, you don't, you don't vibe with it. And then the person does it. I hope that was more or less coherent. Oh, I'm going to end the video now.